So a couple of weeks ago, I was venturing through the world of Instagram Reels, and I came across this video, which has kind of become a trend on Instagram now. And now my initial reaction to this video was just to keep scrolling, obviously. But over the next couple of days, I began to see more posts like this popping up on my feed. And it really got me thinking about this new trend. And this gave me the same kind of feeling as when you have to finance your groceries at Walmart. And then you walk outside and the homeless guy sitting outside asks you for a dollar. Like, brother, I drive a Toyota. What makes you think I have any kind of money to give you to buy a brand new Mustang M4 or Camaro SS? This trend trend just doesn't even make any sense. So I decided that I was going to go down the rabbit hole of these car pages on Instagram and try to figure out their reasoning and logic behind this. And after looking through quite a few of these pages, it's not like they're asking for money to buy a used car. I feel like it would be different if they were from a second or third world country. They walk 10 miles to and from work every single day, and they need a form of transportation to get there more effectively and spend more time with their family. Family, but this simply is not the case. A lot of these accounts seem like they're run by teenage middle class kids that already have a form of transportation or the availability of jobs in their area to where they could afford some transportation, but are choosing to beg for money on Instagram instead of going to go get a job. And unsurprisingly, these are most of what the comments have to say on most of these pages, just simply telling them to go get a job. Because in my personal personal opinion, it's pretty tone deaf to be on Instagram begging for money for a car that costs as much as the median annual salary in the United States. And like I said earlier, it's not like they're trying to go out and buy used cars with this money, like an old Civic, like they just need a couple grand. No, these pages are asking for cars like Mustangs and BMW M4s. First of all, why would I donate to you when I don't own either of those cars myself? And second off, even if I did own those cars, why would I give you the money to own a car that I actually had to work and pay for? Now, to be fair, there are some pages that actually post some pretty cool edits. Here's an example of one right here. And that's a nice edit and all, but I don't think that's a $40,000 edit, do you? And some of these pages don't even put that much effort into it. They actually just repost some video from another page over and over and over again every single day with the dollar amount that they've accumulated or whatever, which for most of them is unsurprisingly zero dollars. And from what I can tell, none of these have actually ever been successful in raising any type of funds to even buy a car, much less the car that they're shooting for from their pages. Even if I lost my house, my car, all of my clothes, everything I've ever earned, and I had nothing, I still don't think I would stoop so low as to get on Instagram and start a page that is just begging for donations from complete strangers for absolutely no reason other than there's a really expensive car out that I want that I can't actually afford. In my opinion, this is worse than going to Starbucks or some kind of fast food restaurant and them asking you if you want to leave a tip. Because at least at Starbucks and places like that that ask you if you want a tip, at least their workers are actually doing something for you. They're actually providing a service and you're giving them a little bit of extra money. With this, you're actually getting nothing in return. You're just tipping some random kid who simply wants an M4. This whole trend is just super embarrassing. Homeless people have more dignity and respect than these Instagram car pages. So stop creating these Instagram pages begging for money to buy a dream car. A lot of working people, people that actually contribute to society, could use that 30, 40, 50 grand that you would spend on a dream car or things like paying bills or getting out of debt or paying off student loans. But instead, you actually want to just go and blow it on an M4 like you just look like a complete goober. So if you run one of these Instagram car pages, here's a tip for you. Go to McDonald's, fill out a job application, 
option so you can start working and have the pride to say that you actually paid for the car that's parked outside and it wasn't just handed to you. At least your dignity is still intact. But it's not like it really matters anyways because nobody's actually giving these clowns any money and they will never ever make enough to buy the cars that they're asking to buy. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.